going on, everybody? It's your boy, Slab Train, and welcome back, guys, to another episode of Highway to Horizon 2. It's going to be episode number 10 today, and the reason why you're not seeing anything to do with uh, Hot Pursuit at the moment is because I figured we'd run another Highway to Horizon 2. Now, it's a topic that I did want to discuss today, and that is of the use of S chassis. Now, I don't know why, but you know what? We're going to use the 240 for this one right now. I'm down for the 240 life right here, man. I don't know, understand, you know, why they haven't really done anything to do with S chassis in Forza. And I know that there's a demand for it. I know that there is. You know that there is. How come we haven't seen the S13 or 14 make an appearance in Forza Horizon 5? Or, sorry, not Forza Horizon, but Forza 5 at least. You know what I'm saying? How come we haven't seen our S13 back, man. That's what I would like to know from Turn 10 and, you know, Playground Games or whoever's running the show down there, Dan Greenwald himself. I'd love to know why they're holding out on us on those S13s because you know that we want them, man. He knows that we want them, but they have not made an appearance yet. I don't know if they're waiting until our DLC is ran out and then we got to pay for them personally. If they do that, whoo, whoo, shit. I'm going to be real rattled right now. I'll tell you that right now. Where's my damn control freaks at, though? I'll be even do. rattled if I can't find these things. Hold up here. Control free. Oh, I see you. We got him. We got him. We got him. All right. Woo! All right. So, let's put this on. Got our control freaks on. Oh, my God. It's, like, ripping off. All right. There we go. So, conversion on this engine right now. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got the damn the R34, the S15. Could go with that old GTR. You know what? Let's just stick with the old, uh, the old KA in this thing right now. We're gonna, s yeah, we'll, we'll single turbo this thing right now. If you guys have not noticed as well too, I feel like I am getting a little bit of a cold at the moment, unfortunately. Um, so my voice, you know, is a little bit squeaky. Not too much though. You know, I don't, I don't sound like a little two-year-old or anything, but it does get squeaky from time to time though. And we are going to be making a rally build on this. I promise that. It's just a matter of uh, when that is going to happen. Um, I think probably the next coming episodes we'll definitely do something in terms of, you know, working on a rally build for something like that. Um, maybe even, you know, probably one of the cards that came in the rally expansion, if that would make sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, but right now, we're going to make this 240 right now. We're going to probably give it an A-class rating on here. I feel like that would be a solid... Solid turnaround for this car because B class. I mean, we can't do too much in B class. I don't even think there's any races in B class, but it looks like we're gonna be able to upgrade this entire damn car to an A class without having to worry about anything. So let's go into the tire sections. We haven't done anything in tire compound. Sport tires look like it's gonna be good for this thing right now. We're gonna go with a two, let's go 225 in the front, and we're gonna go with a 245 on the rear, and then we're gonna go with uh, what, what should we do on rims on this thing right now? Hmm. Fist, maybe? Those things do look nice, but I don't know really right now. I've always, I'm always stuck on like the same different rims. I don't know if it's just because, you know, we've been, we've had this game for so long now that we haven't seen any types of rims come in. And that's another thing too, man. I, I really, I think as a community, we need to see some more rims come into play. Now, I'm not talking just, you know, one or two rims. Oh, I forgot the damn body kit, but I think I'm going to sort of leave the stock to be honest with you. We haven't seen anything in terms of rims. I mean, nothing. Since Forza 4, Forza Horizon to Forza 5, we haven't seen any new rims get put into the game. I don't understand why. Why? You know what I'm saying? Same with the S13. Why? All these cars that got just pushed to the side, and I don't know if it's because of the demographic that play the game anymore, or if that's just what they're tailoring to, but I really would like to see... Oh my god, my bad. Alright, this thing's a lot more powerful than I thought it was. So, what are we doing today in terms of uh, races right here? A-Class, that's a Ford challenge though. I don't think I have a Ford in A-Class. What's this? C? D? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, what else we got? We got a Horizon Checkpoint. Don't want that. Oh, what's this? Horizon Presents Manic Mini. I'm about it. Let's turn go. Around when it is safe. Yeah, turn around this bullshit right here. Woo! Look at this thing ripping! Here we go. Oh, appreciate it. I love the GPS system in this game, man. They're just so helpful. And they'll let you know about every corner coming up. God, man, they're annoying. 
Now going back to yesterday's uh, videos right now, I just want to get a hold of the comments here to see what was going on. Because we did have a lot of solid comments that day. And really, I mean, I cannot thank you guys enough for commenting and just showing your support on every video, man. You guys have just been ecstatic. Now that white guy says, you think these Horizon series are showing up Need for Speed? And also, I'm going to need to change the color of that Cuda. That's my favorite muscle car. And maybe an orange or that crazy Mopar green or purple, man. I definitely agree with you on the color change. I'll definitely do that soon. But honestly, do I think that they're trying to show up Need for Speed? Of course they are, man. They want to grab the attention of the fans at Need for Speed. And I think, personally, they're going about it the wrong way. Reason being, customization, man. Customization. Need for Speed are the kings of customization. And um, I think they're dropping the ball, they really are. Especially in these games, they're not adding anything new. And I don't know if it's just because they think that all the people that are buying these games are new players to the Forza franchise. Ooh, that was nice. Um, or what, but we haven't seen anything new. We've actually been losing content if you guys have been following it around. But it's just, it just doesn't make sense, you know what I'm saying? Why, why not take the extra little bit to add in the extra little bit of, you know, details to the cars in terms of body kits, in terms of rims, in terms of all that good stuff that we haven't been seeing. So, it's a mind boggle, man. It really is. And I just don't understand, you know, why they haven't seen that. Now, Superman says, Slop, Superman, not Superman, you know what I'm saying? There's a difference. Slop, what happened? This might sound stupid, but I think I would like to see a relay race online kind of like they did in fast or too fast and furious when they race for pinks and honestly i've been thinking about that man that was that was been the thing that i've really wanted to uh see implemented in online and i've actually tried to get people to do that online in terms of drag race i mean it's not hard and that's honestly that is why i like forza is because of the creativity that you can throw into the game um because you know it's the same with grand theft auto you know what i'm saying they don't really give us a lot to work with but what we do have we make do you know what i'm saying if they give us an open space we can use that for anything that we can put our imagination to. And that's, you know, that's what really drew me into Forza was imagination and creativity. You know, back in, you know, Forza 2 days, you didn't have drag racing lobbies. You went into Copperhead and, you know, you went into the Nuremberg ring and dragged on the sections that, you know, we made up. So, I mean, you would have, you know, people sit at the line, you know, you'd be like, oh, so-and-so won and so-and-so -and -so this and that. And really, I miss those days, man. I really do. I, you know, I, I miss the created lobby days and, you know, Copperhead and all that good stuff. And I'm sure a lot of people are with me on that and would vouch to say, yeah, man, I mean, back when there was no lobbies and you just created your own, things were a hell of a lot better than what they are now. You know what I'm saying? You really used your head in terms of lobbies. And I feel that now that we've had private lobbies taken away from us, we have no say in terms of what we're going to be doing in terms of lobbies and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We just we go into the room with a bunch of people and we drift. That's it. You drag. That's it. There's no creativity added anymore and really i think that's that's what's going on with the forza is that they're being too closed-minded with their things and i'm not doubting them in any way they've done a great job in terms of their games in terms of their actual implementation but they're just missing key things that i feel that would just make get out of here mini davis what the hell man i feel like you know those things would just set the series off you know what i'm saying that would make the series you know, go past in terms of, you know, the Need for Speed fans. Because I think that's what they're trying to tap into is those fans on Need for Speed. There's a lot of fans, and I feel that, you know, in terms of, you know, sales, in terms of purchases, Forza is at the very, very low mark of, you know, sales. And if you guys look into it, I'm almost certain that they did, you know, a thing about a couple years back. Forza was on the bottom, man. Mario Kart was beating Forza. Gran Turismo was beating Forza by a lot. And it's just, it's really, you know, Forza's been at the bottom of the barrel for a long time. And I'm not saying in terms of, you know, in, like in terms of, you know, the gameplay. Because gameplay speaks for itself. Gameplay is amazing, it's awesome, but it doesn't appeal to everybody. And that's the problem that they're having at Turn 10, you know, in terms of, you know, this and that. Because, I mean, if they had the time and the money, I'm sure that they would have everything that they would want into the game. I'm sure of it. I got faith in Turn 10. They've done a great job in terms of modeling sim. You know, the damages, you know, they were the first ones to really implement a solid damage model in, into the game. And, um, I mean, really, it's just coming down to customization and creativity in the games. And that is what they have been lacking for quite some time now. And I feel like it needs to change or you're going to be seeing a lot of people hopping ship. And, you know, I'm glad to see that Forza Horizon is coming back. Forza Horizon 2 is coming back to make an appearance because, really, that's what we need as a community. We need that type of game. 
and I hope that they do it properly in order to really, you know, bring out the series and bring out Forza and hopefully grab attention from all those other markets and really grab them in, you know what I'm saying? So we got our mini. I don't want to drive that damn thing. It's a C-Class, man. What the hell? Bounty, no. No, thank you. Oh, my God, man. Now, when can back channel says, slap us as racing and car fans. Drag racing and drifting has been a part of of our favorite things and street racing has been strayed like you said just because of accidents but racing fans are only street racing is need for speed and like I said exactly to my point man that is the reason why we have not seen a lot of you know creativity in terms of that like you know like need for speed underground too is because street racing is frowned upon now it really is and I mean it's it's sad to say but I mean, games like Need for Speed, I mean, uh, the games like Call of Duty and stuff like that are still flourishing, even though, you know, it's war and, you know, they're killing people. But, um, you know, street racing has now been put into the bottom of the barrel because of, you know, accidents. And it makes, I guess, people go out and street race in real life. So, I don't know. But what, what the hell do we have right now? Do we already did that? Oh, we got some new ones. Current car eligible. Oh, my God. Let's do it then. Say current car. You said current car was eligible without doing anything. So without doing that, we're going to go to the A-class one. And then we're going to go back and then do it with a B-class car. Or just downsize the 240 as well, too. So should be all right. Not too bad, though. Oh, my God, man. All right. Now, Kyle Stevenson says, Slap, how much does Forza Horizon cost? Now, don't quote me on this because this was about a month ago. Well, not a month ago, but it was a little bit ago. About maybe a week or two ago. Uh, Xbox was having a sale on their dashboard for all the gold members. I picked this game up for ten dollars, man. You cannot go wrong for ten bucks whatsoever. So, ten bucks, Forza Horizon, steal, steal and a half, man. Here we go. Woo! This thing is ruthless. Oh man, we got a phone call. We are back right now, guys. Let's get this going, man. Oh shit. Excuse me! Oh my god, look at all the trees and the poles, man! Oh! Uh, no! Rewind, rewind. We're rewinding that, man. We're not going like that. We ain't going down like that. Oh boy. I'm going to dirt. Yo, this 240's off-roading right now, man. You ain't ready for this. Ooh, we got some air, too. Hell yeah. Now, I really hope that in, uh, you know, the new Horizon 2, that the map layout is going to be, you know, kind of curvy and wavy and... You know, have some nice hills and bumps and stuff like that. That would be really cool to see. And I really hope that they just mimic, you know, the European countrysides and stuff like that. And I really hope that they do a great job on it. I'm sure they will. I just, I'm, I'm hoping, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just hoping that I can just see something soon. That's really my only thing right now. Oh boy. Oh shit! Which way are we going, man? Oh my god! That did not look like the right way. There's no markers at all on this one, man. You just go your own way, looks like. Woo! We just drifted by that, man. You take it easy there, boo-boo. I'm gone, man. I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. That fifth gear is bogging. Let's go back to fourth. Yo, my God. I think Sally was going to die out on me. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, damn. Nice little jump on there. No! Oh! She's holding, though. She's holding. 65% done right now. We are ripping on this damn street. And really, I mean, like I said, I wish that the highways were more simulated in terms of, you know, the length. And same with the roads as well, too. I mean, I see that, you know, it's a little bit different because, the you know, it's, it's a game. But I would just love to see, you know, a highway where... It takes you quite a bit of time to actually reach those destinations. That'd be really cool to see, or you know, just bypass it, whatever you like. Oh no! Let go! Oh my god! Is we're passing pedestrian cars like it's no big. Which way are we going? Okay. okay. Now, as well, too, guys. As I said, if you want to see Hot Pursuit make an appearance, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below. Um, really, I mean, that's really the only way that I'm gonna know if you guys want to see Hot Pursuit come back. Um, I mean, like I said, it, it, it's not like, oh, look at that. We're going to die. Am I still in first? I'm still in first. Oh boy. I'm not going to be in first in a second. Look at all those cars coming. Oh my God. Tell me I can re re rewind farther than this. 
please, 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 please. Oh boy. One more time, one more time. That's all that I want. Yes! Break! Oh, man, that would have been vicious right there if we hit that. Woo! Holy rewinded twice. It's not bad, it's not bad. Could have been worse. Could have been real worse, you know what I'm saying? We're going to take our $46,000 right now. And we're going to get on our way right now, man. We're going to dip. We dip setting. All right. So, what is next? We're going to do that second race right there. We're going to try and... Uh, Pretty much do all of these as well, too, man. I really would like to just be able to uh, just get these done. Now, Chris Olsen says, interior customization would be sick, but just the stuff like seat steering wheels and shift knobs. I couldn't agree more, my man. Like I said, that is the main thing that I would like to see in the game would be that. We're going to bring out this damn R34 again. I'm going to drive this beast. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, we don't want anything crazy. We just want those little things. And that's what I said, man. The little things matter in Forza. As a player, we want the little things in the game. And, you know, that's that's my two cents. I'd love to know your two cents about, you know, the little bits. And, you know, should they be worrying about the bigger picture? Or should they be just adding in the little things that we want as a community? I mean, it couldn't be that hard. I mean, I'm sure that they can get one guy to say, here you go, model up some seats, model up some shifters, some steering wheels for these cars, and just make it, you know, a quick attachment. That's really about it. It doesn't have to be something crazy. Something simple. And, you know, make it happen. I mean... That's just my two cents. I mean, how long do you think it would really take them to render, you know, the body kits, the shift knobs? Because I personally don't know anything about the modeling and stuff like that. But I'm sure as a, as a business like themselves that they have guys specifically designed to do that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I don't really know how much time and, you know, it really does go in. I mean, how, in all honesty, how easy do you think it would be to model in the S13 from Forza 4? Let me know. I would I would love to hear everybody's opinion. Maybe we have some advanced guys in here that do coding and, you know, do that kind of stuff and do, like, modeling. Because I would love to hear that in terms of, you know, how how tough is it really to do that? Oh, my God. Hold it. We got it. We got it. We only damaged both fenders, the hood, and both lights. You know, everything else we damaged. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. What the? F that was, like, one of those girls you see with, like, those big damn weird noses. You're just like, really? That's what we are right now. We're the damn weird nose. Appreciate it. That was the wall right there, too. That wasn't my fault. Because the wall was in the way, man. I was trying to go through it. The wall said no. It's not my fault. That's on that. All right, here we go. This is a king spot right here. If you guys know the king map, this is actually a section right off the king map right here. And we are going to be getting into some king action online. So I'm really excited to showcase some of that stuff. Because that's going to be mad funny. I'm telling you guys that right now. The king... That I used to do, man, back in the day. If you guys were here with us back when we were doing Forza Horizon when it first came out, whoo, King Mode was hilarious, man. That was the that was the bee's knees, if you would say. You know what I'm saying? So, but hopefully we're gonna get that back. And here we go right now. Oh, we are ripping on this straight though. Nobody's even with us, man. We may have to up the difficulty for next episode. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. Here we go. We're gonna slide into this. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. 360 into that damn finish line. Hell yeah. Look at all of them coming in. Y'all slow, man. Y'all slow. Alright, give me my money. $44,000. Much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys would like to see me do for next episode. Mafioso21. That's an old gamer tag because he ain't even that anymore. But let me know what you guys would like to see done for next episode. Um, you know. Discussion wise anything at all. Let me know in the comment section below um, If you guys would like to send me cards specifically over the game or you know Just buy my vinyls off the storefront by all means do your thing boo-boo But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much for watching today. It's your Buddha slap train. I'm out peace